Barbie. Hey. Can you please explain this to us? Ma? Come on. Yes, Javi, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. you, Lauren, you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, Lauren, come on. <laughs> Give it a shot with this. Okay. In, in this class, we will see yes. the, dif the difference uh, to, to use uh, ING or to in some verbs. Um, the, the difference, no. Mm. In in some cases, to use ing and to use to, we have different meaning in the expression. Um, we need to practice with different verbs. To, to learn the difference. That's all. <laughs> okay, Lauren, okay, good job. Okay, can you continue, Fabi? Mm, no, teacher. No, okay. Well, this is grammar chart. How about we practice a little more? Yes? You guys uh, listen and repeat. What? Page five. There. Two. Grammar. Verb complements. Verb plus ing. Yeah. Or two plus verb. Verb plus verb plus ing. Consider. Finish, imagine, miss, mind, spend. He finished reading his newspaper. Can you repeat this? He finished reading his newspaper. Yes. I spent three years working in Tokyo. I spent three years working in Tokyo. Verb plus particle or preposition plus verb plus ing. End up. Keep on. Think about. Plan on. How did you end up living here? How did you end up living here? I wasn't planning on leaving Japan. I wasn't, I wasn't planning on leaving, leaving Japan. Japan. Verb plus two plus verb. Agree, decide, happen, offer, seem, intend, expect. They agreed to pay for Korean lessons. They agreed to pay for Korean lessons. I didn't expect to get the job. I didn't expect to get the job. Verb plus ing or two plus verb with a different meaning. Remember, stop, try. I stopped talking to him. I stopped talking to him. I stopped to talk to him. I stopped to talk to him. Verb plus ing or two plus verb with the same meaning. Begin, bother, continue, start, like, love, hate. Should I bother applying? Should I bother applying? Should I bother to apply? Should I bother to apply? To apply? So here we have uh, some images right here. And we have the first part, verb plus verb plus ing, with verbs, consider, finish, imagine, 
miss, mind, and spend time. And we have the example. He finished reading his new paper. I spent three years working in Tokyo. Now, let's do another one. First verb is I consider. Next, I finish. Next, I imagine. Next, I miss. Next, I don't mind. And the last one is I spend time. Okay. Now let's continue. let's finish this, ladies. Can you finish this one? I consider. Having love. Yeah, can you repeat that, please? Yeah. Can you repeat that, please? I consider uh, having lunch. Perfect. Having lunch. What about a compliment? Can you give us a compliment? I like. No. Uh, with my family. Perfect. With my family. Perfect. With my family. Number next. I finished. Good morning, Karen. Hi, Good morning. Good morning. Can you try it again, uh, Fabi? Uh, I finished. Uh, cooking dinner. Perfect. Cooking dinner. Next, I imagine. I'm going to work. <laughs> yes, of course, going to work. Okay, next, I miss. Karen, mm. mm. Miguel. Good morning, Miguel. Can you give us another example, please? I miss. Miss is the same loss. Um, or what? What does mean miss? Yes, it means both both things. You lose. You oh. didn't catch. Or that you think about. Me studying work. You miss what? I start I starting. Yeah. Work. Starting work, okay. Another one, I don't mind. I don't get in up early. Okay. 
I don't mind getting up early. Good. And the last one. I spend time. Taking a shower this morning. Okay. Taking a shower. This morning? This morning. Okay. Now, the complement is perfect, but now the sentence is incorrect. <sighs> Let's see why. Really? I spent time taking a shower this morning. What's incorrect? Um, I don't know. No? I spent. Is that present or past? Past. This past. morning is well. And this morning. Is it right now? Uh, present or past? Only taking a shower is correct. Um, yeah. I spend time taking a shower. Yeah, and that would be simple present, which is all the time, right? Every day. And in the past will be I spend. A long time taking a shower. This morning. Like that. Is that better? Yes, I, I can use uh, every day instead yes. of morning. Yes, uh, the first one on the first example, we can erase this. And now that is correct. I spent time taking a shower, and that is correct. Okay. For a simple present, a general expression, all the time. Uh -huh. And this is a one time in the past. Can we change to the next? Let's go to the next one. Here, now we have verb plus particle or preposition. Remember your particles or prepositions? What are they? Mm. And. And on. Up on, about on. Yes. Do you remember one more preposition? In, Anna. Yes, in. in. Oh. Another preposition. Over. Yes, over is a preposition. Yes, that's correct. So we have the verb plus particle. The verb is the verb. This is the verb. The blue one is the verb, and then the, the pink one is a preposition, and then on the other side we have the verb with ing. This yes. is verb with the with the preposition. Yes. The meaning is the same, and this is one. And, uh, and up. No, this is one facial verb. Is different the meaning? It's only one facial verb. Um, I think we see this in, we saw it on facial verbs on the book three, unit five, I think. If you want to look look phrase look, look for the phrasal verbs in the book three. You want me to show you the book three? Ladies, ladies, yeah, yeah. 
Yes. Yes. I'm sorry, Tiago. I didn't see it. I miss going to English class with my partners. <laughs> yes, Miguel. That's a good one. Okay, well, give me a second. I'm going to look it up. It takes a couple of minutes to load up. Huh, maybe it's an unit one. No, it's not unit one. Okay, let's go for unit two. Okay, hold on. You see my screen? Guys? Yes. No. Yes. It's loading. It takes a couple of minutes to load. Family life. Wow, I can't find it. This one right here is in unit seven. Unit seven, page sixty-eight of your book, of your book three. Are you there? Yes. All right. So, you, do you see it? Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. Okay. In your book. Okay. And we also have this. Right here, page seventy eight.
Yes, ladies, uh, can we continue? Yes. Yes, look, this example right here, do you see it on the bottom? Can you read it, Fabi? Hmm. Okay, sometimes? Yes. Sometimes I worry about money. Correct. If we don't use the, uh, the particle, the preposition, if we just say, I worry money, expressions is incomplete and it's incorrect. So when you say uh, worry, we need the particle to make sense. Yes? And, uh, and the next one is talk to someone. Do you remember what's complete sentence? Talk to someone. About? about 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 something yes think about about something next number four about two yeah you say the complete sentence about 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 no the complete sentence number four uh. Number four. Bobby, got him. Number four. Remind. Yeah, remind someone. Someone about something. About something. Number five. Forget about something. Yes, six. Buy something about someone. No. Four. Buy something. Four. Ah, four. Yes. Yes, four. Number seven. Pay for something. Pay four. Yes, number eight. For? Yes. Ap apologize for doing something. Yes. Number nine. Um, for? Ten. Someone for something? Yes. Ten. Ten. Sure. Sure something. With what? Share something. I ah, know. Okay. Is one number ten? Um, about something. Yes, you can say about or. Or. Yes, and that has a different meaning. Number 11. Borrow something to someone. To? No. <gasps> Not to. For? No. Guys, ladies, gentlemen, from, about, from, no, from, 
from? From someone, yes. From. Number 12? Yes, one, two. 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 Number 13. Yes, one, two. Two. Yes, two and 14. Two. No. Which one? Share some. Fourteen. With. With. Share something with someone? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Now, these are verbs. Worry about. Talk about. Think about. These are verbs with only one meaning. Remind about, forget about, buy, buy what? Four. Four. A. Four. Four. Apologize. Four. Four. Think. Four. Four. Ask. About. About or. Four. 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 Borrow from from say something to someone say to lend to to and share with with all right so these are our verbs and that's what we're practicing right now the verbs let's go for the next slide this one right here. We have our prepositions and our particles. We have the particle preposition up, on, about, and on, right? And these two have one meaning with the verb. End up, keep on, think about. Plan on. It's only one verb. Let's look at this example right here on the bottom. Do you see it? Lauren, okay. can you read the example? How did you end up living here? Yes. How did you end up? End up is only one verb. We have uh -huh. the piece form and the particle. And after that, we have our second verb with ing. How did you end up living here? Okay, and then the next example, what we have. Is Plan on. Yes, like this one right here. Plan on. But on this plan on, we also have ing. Do you know why? Why are we using the ing in this one? No, because we use the verb to be. Right there. And since we use the verb to be, then the verb next to it transforms into the ing form. Remember? Uh, yes. Now, this sentence right here is in the past. Wow. 
Uh, yes. I wasn't planning on leaving Japan. The whole thing is in the past because we have the verb wasn't. Yes, that's in the past. Now, if I didn't use wasn't, if I use I, then what happens to the verb plan? I plan on. I plan? Yes. No ing, right? Yes. Remember, the sentence is in the past. So what do we need to do? In past tense, I planned. Right? Okay. Lauren? Yes. Because it's in the past. Fabi? Yes. Megan? But what happens if I change it to the negative? How do we make this sentence negative? I don't. In the past. I didn't, I didn't plan. plan. I didn't plan. I didn't plan? Plan. Plan. I didn't plan. plan. I didn't plan. Plan on. I didn't plan. There you go. Yes, but now our verb, our sentence is with was in the negative form, wasn't. So our verb requires a, an ing. So I wasn't planning on leaving Japan. Okay. Now let's do one more example. Here we have the verbs end up. Now let's do a different you and up. Next, he keeps us. Next, she thinks about. And the last one, we. Now, can you complete the sentences? You, Everybody? You went out exercising. Good. Continue. He keeps on going to the gym. Yes, good job. Next one. She thinks about. She thinks about planning a trip. Good. Yes, yeah, she thinks about planning a trip. Perfect. In the last one. You were planning on having a baby. Oh my gosh, Karen. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> good. <laughs> but it's a good example. Can you repeat the example, please? We weren't planning on having a baby. Great. Abby, Lauren, is that good? Yes. Miguel, okay. is that is still two three or is it three three now? Okay. 
<laughs> you don't know? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's work on the next one. Now we have verb plus two plus verb. And we have the example. He agreed to pay for Korean lessons. I didn't expect to get the job. Let's see. We have the verbs agree. She agrees. They decided. Uh, it happens. We offer um, he seems I intended and You expect it. All right. Now let me see if I can change this. She agrees. Can we complete this sentence? She agrees to cook for me. Good. To cook. Next. They decided to go, go out. Yes. They decided to go out. Yes, that's good. Another one. It happens. Okay. It happens to eat. Okay, can you complete the sentence? It happens to eat. Will offer to travel. What about this one? It happens. Uh, it happens. Continue. It happens to eat. To eat what? To eat. Hmm. To eat pizza. Okay, it happens to be pizza. Grammatically is good. Okay, next one. Miguel? Yeah, continue. We'll offer to travel tomorrow. We'll offer, okay. Next. He seems to cook dinner. Oh, oh, perfect. Next. I intended, intended, intended to speak English. <laughs> Good. 
Next. You expected to get a good job? Yes, to get perfect. All right, now let's go for the next one. R plus ing or two plus verb with the same meanings. And here are the verbs. Can you give me a sentence? It is an example, okay? You want another example? I I continue to learn English. Perfect. Or I continue uh, learning English. Perfect, Fabi. Good job. So we we'll already continue. Can we do another verb? I continue studying English. Or? I continue to mm -hmm. study English. Yeah, that's what you said? What? Okay. Um, another word? I start to dance class. No, that's not a verb. That's a noun. Class, but a noun that's a thing. I start. I start exercising. Or. I start to exercise. Yes. You can. Uh, Bobby. Yeah. Hey. You can say, I start. Taking dance classes, or I start to take dance classes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Another verb. I like to cook. I like cooking. Perfect. Another one. Love eight. I like watching movies. Or? Or I like to watch movies. Perfect. Another verb? Another, another one of these? I another. love watching anime. Yeah. Oh, I love to watch anime. Yes. Now, hate, begin, or bother? I bother washing. I bother to watch. Watch what? Dishes. Do the dishes. Do the dishes. Again? Can you say it again, please? I bother doing dishes. Yeah. The dishes. A dishes. A I, dishes. I bother yeah. doing the dishes. Yes, or I bother doing the dishes. It's the same. Do I bother to to wash? No. No. I I bother washing. No. Uh, no, doing. Do. I bother doing. Yes. 
Uh, doing the dishes. And the other form? I bother to do. Yes. Ah, sí. All right. And the last one. We're finished? No. What about this one? I don't know. I begin running in the morning. Yes, or? I begin to run in the morning. Yes, Miguel? Hate, Miguel, hate. Yeah, Miguel, can you do hate? <laughs> yes. Or Miguel. I think you eat seafood. Or yes, yes, Miguel. Good job. Uh -oh. Who left? Who got disconnected? Fabi, where's Fabi? What? Yeah, you're here. Karen? I'm here. Hmm. Okay. We're here. We're good. Next, this right here. Can you read for me, please? Mm, but uh, are you stopping to talk to him? Or? Verb plus ing or two plus verb with different meaning. Yes. Mm -hmm. Look at this picture right here. What do you see? Tall, wall. People talking, people walking, right? Yeah. Okay. And one lady is stopped so she can talk, right? They stop walking to talk. Correct? Yeah. They stopped to talk. And the other one, can you read this, Karen? Where? That one, I stopped. Yes. Yes. What does this mean? No more talking. No more talking. Okay. Yes? Can you give me a different example? Ladies, can you give me an example with remember? Um, I remember to learn class. Dance. Again? I remember to learn dance. Okay, I remember to learn dancing. Dance. Okay. So you're saying to learn 
to learn. And then you continue with Good. Now, is this the same if I use learning? I remember to learn the dancing. <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> Repeat it again, please. I remember to learning. Dance. Learning? No, just learning. learning. Only learning. Now remember, when we use the verb, remember. Now this is about. The future. And the other one is about. The past. Okay. Okay. Okay, Karen, Miguel, Fabi, Lauren. Yes. Can you give me a different sentence with remember? I remember to visit a friend. Okay. I remember visiting friends. Yes, and why are they different? Two. The first one is in present. I remember to visit a friend. Okay. I'm gonna erase this. Now one more time. I remember to visit a friend. A friend. What if you change it to the past? Imagine this is a, a timeline. Okay. How can I say this? This is Monday. This is Tuesday. This is Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. And what else? Sunday. Sunday. Yes. What is today? Mm 
Today is Wednesday, right? Wednesday. We are here today on Wednesday. This is today. Okay. Now, if I say I remember to visit a friend, then this sentence is right here in the past. Yes? Correct? Uh huh. I remember it's in the past. But it's to visit. I remember to visit. It means you visit your you visit your friend after this event. Okay, you did it after. Okay. But if I say, I remember, visiting a friend, when did you visit a friend? So you remembered it's still in the past, it's still yesterday, but now the visiting took place in the past. You see, they're both remember in the past. I remember, I remember. However, to visit is after the moment you remember. And visiting is in the past of the moment you remember. Can you t give me a, another sentence? Where is the other Sorry. image? Right here. Give me another sentence with remember. Please. I remember. Can you continue? Doing the homework. Doing the homework. And when is that? Before or after you remember? Let's imagine this happened Before? today. Today. On what is today? Wednesday. Right there. I remember hey, Wednesday because it's the present. I remember. Now, what did you say, Karen? Is studying or to study? Doing. What? Doing homework. Doing homework. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, when is that? Before. Doing homework. When does doing homework begin? In the past. Doing homework. 
it happened when? On mon Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday? Maybe Tuesday. Tuesday, right? Or maybe Monday. Wow. It's in the past. Yes. And if you say, I remember to do homework. Sí, también. Sí, papá, gracias. Uh, when this happens. Mm. Now? Now, right? Okay. Let me think of a different example. Now, this is the past, this is the present, and this is the future. Now, I say, I remember. I remember. Now let's see. Do, do the laundry. Or doing the laundry. Uh, this I remember. When does this happen? In the past, in the present, or in the future? Present. Present. Yes, I remember it's in simple present. Right here, okay? Yes. But now, when did this even happen? I remember to do the laundry. I remember to do the laundry. When did that happen? Before or after? I remember even. After. That's right. After. And doing? Before. In the past. Um, I change it to. Right. So doing the laundry is before the event. Yes? Is that better? Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to change the re remember to the past. Remember. I remember. Now when this I remember uh, happened. In the past. In the past, right? So I'm gonna give the example that it happened sometime in here. Let's say right here in the past. Okay? So this I remember happened in the past. Now when did this happen? to do the laundry. And when did doing the laundry? When did it happen? I remember to do the laundry. When did do the laundry happen? Before or after? Before. Before? Before? Uh, no. After, no? Before or after? 
After? After. After. <laughs> yes. And doing the laundry? When did doing the laundry uh, happen? In the future. In the future? To do? Yes, doing. Ah, no. Before. Before the event, right? Right there, okay. In other examples. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> erased it, okay. It's okay. Now, let's try it again with a different picture. Here, can you tell me about, now let's use the verbs to stop and remember. Yeah. Can so, you give me at least two examples, please? Um, I stop doing the shopping. Okay. Or? I stop to do the shopping. And what's the difference? One is in the past? Nope. It's not about the past. I'm gonna write it for you, okay? I don't know. I don't understand. <laughs> I'm gonna write it right here. Can you repeat your sentences? I stop. I stop in the past or in the present? Present. I stop. Present. Continue, please. I stop. Doing? Doing. Continue. Shopping. Okay, what does this mean? I stopped doing the shopping. What happens here? It means no more shopping. Correct? Correct. Yes, and if I say I stopped to do the shopping. I stop to do the shopping. What does this mean? Stop. Mm. I stopped to do the shopping is I finished what I was doing because the shopping is more important. Mm. Uh, Lauren? Yes. Fabi? It is only with the stop or with the other verbs too. Remember that with the verb remembers, 
is different. What happens with the third member? Very different. Is in the past or in the present? Before yeah. or after? Oh, I yes. know. Better. Okay, with the first stop, <laughs> it means that you do do it or you don't do it. Because the verb is a stop. Okay. Yes, can you give me another example with the stop? Please. Another example? Yes. <laughs> yes, of course. I stop to yeah. clean the house. Yes, what does that mean? I finish. All right. Can you repeat again, please, your example? I stop. Yeah. Clean the house. To clean, clean the house. Okay. What does that mean? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I stop the clean the, to clean the house. Okay, let's see. I stop and the verb means wait, 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 wait. wait. I stop plus verb or oh, that's incomplete. I stop plus ing or I stop to verb there on the first one can I change the color yeah this is color this color I stop verb plus ing okay activity is not important. And I stop to the activity is very important. Is that better? Hold on, I want to give another example. One little second. I'm almost finished. Now let me see, you can see this.
All right. Do you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Okay. So verb with ing or two plus verb. We're going to use the verb stop. I stop to work. Okay. When you have to work, right there, to work. And article two means the reason, the reason for the verb stop. So I stop to work. Okay, so you work. I stop to work. Yes, but what happens if I say, I stopped working? What is that? Stop working is no more work. I stopped working. No All more right. working, no more work. No more work, yeah, I stopped working. Dejo adentro a Gala. What? All right, guys. Do you have a question? No. <laughs> a lot of questions? <laughs> Fabi? No. Any questions, Mickey? Mickey. Sí. Uh, yes? Okay. <laughs> what question do you have? Ah, no manches, Miguel. Uh, never, never. <laughs> Maybe in December. Oh, yes. oh my gosh. <laughs> never. Por el, yes. por siempre. Forever. Forever. All right, guys. Uh, stay a little bit the homework and we'll continue tomorrow. Okay. Okay, Karen? No homework? Yes. A study and do the homework. Yeah. The workbook? The workbook, yes. Only the workbook? Ah, you're right. We have to do this still, huh? So this is the homework too. Yes. 
the student book. Yes, this part is the homework. Mm -hmm. And then, and okay. it's two. In audio? Yes, in audio. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now, check. This little uh, question is a little tricky. Okay. You have to ask anyone in your group. Ask if anyone in your group has done these things. Find out the whole story and ask a lot of questions. So you're going to ask your classmate. How do you ask this question? Do you know how to ask this question? Or do you want to do this tomorrow? Hmm. Tomorrow. Uh, let's do this tomorrow. Yes, this will be tomorrow. So all you gotta do then is a workbook and the student's book, this part, the exercise part, okay? Yeah. All right, guys. The audio, no? No, not the audio. Oh, okay. Not, but if you want to, for practice, read this and send the audio about this. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, guys. We're See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye, guys.